Everybody talks about telling a story on Instagram and as you guys have seen, there's a lot of hype with those carousels that we're seeing on Instagram. So it's kind of like a post and you just swipe through and it tells a story. It's a great way to visually captivate your audience, to teach something that you know, to sell your products or to promote something that you want to promote. It's also super, super captivating when you're putting your product, maybe it's a food, maybe it's a physical shoe, a physical purse, and it's in big, big dimensions and somebody has to actually swipe through to see the complete product. We love doing these for our clients and today I'm here to show you exactly how to make a carousel with Canva. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Laura Gomez. This is my YouTube channel where I tell you everything about marketing, business strategy, and how to grow your business online. It's what I do and it's exactly what I teach others to do. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create that carousel with Canva, which if you haven't used canva.com, it's free and it's absolutely amazing. I use it for almost anything and as you guys know, I always offer you with these free templates, which of course, I'm gonna offer you this carousel free template down below by clicking the link in the description. What you're gonna get in this template is the size of five carousels, so five a five post that you swipe through and you can do anything you want with it. You can promote your product, you can promote whatever you want. So. Let me go ahead and show you how to use it. Let's go on to my computer. So right here, you see that we have this big rectangle divided into five equal parts. The reason why I created five is because you ha can have up to a five slide carousel. If you wanna make it less than when we crop it, you're going to leave out the ones that you don't wanna have. And if you wanna make it more, then you can do in a copy of this template and use however many you want. Keep in mind that on Instagram, you can use up to 10 slides or 10 swipe throughs, okay? So you're never going to need more than two of these templates, all right? So depending on what you wanna do, let's say that I want to do a photo. I have a couple photos here. So let's say that I wanna do this photo that I took with Gabe the other day. So one of my favorite things to do when we're doing carousels is to have a picture taken out without a background that way when people slide through it looks a lot cooler so as you can see I just removed the background and this is available through the paid plan of canva but if you don't have it you can always use this link right here where you can remove your background for free all right so we're gonna put the image let's say that I want it right here. So this means that it's going to show up from the first slide onto the second. I'm gonna make sure that I make us a little smaller, maybe like this, all right? And then I'm going to start adding whatever I want to add. So let's say, if you want to learn more, about digital marketing. And I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm gonna make this like this. And you're just basically going to play around with it. You can change the design, you can do it however you want, okay? And then I'm gonna add some some designs back here. Let's do a gradient. So remember that you can always do a background on this. So let's say I want to do this color and I can even put it on the whole complete carousel if I want to, okay? I'm gonna move it to the back gonna make sure that this is readable and white. 
And then I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do it in a way. So it's basically all about playing with the design. I'm gonna keep on working on this and you'll see the final piece. So I finished this design and I'm basically promoting our TDC Talks podcast, which if you haven't listened to, it's absolutely amazing. We also have it up on YouTube, so I'm going to put it right here. You're going to look for this. Just type in TDC Talks and you can listen to our episodes about marketing. We always have different people on it and it's really, really insightful and it gives you tons of information for your business. So what I have right here is our photo and i'm going to go ahead and download it okay so you're going to download this as you would anything from canva make sure it's on png and just download all right next i'm going to go to this website which you're going to have the link down below in the description okay so we have this and then we're going to the imgonline.com.ua okay the whole link is down in the description below and all we're going to do is scroll down and we're going to select the image that we just downloaded. So it's right here, the Instagram, Instagram carousel template. And we're going to decide how many parts in width, okay? So remember, in width, we did five. Even if you didn't fill up the five completely, you're going to want to make sure you tell it to divide it into five equal parts, okay? Parts in height, we only have one which makes it available to swipe through. They're all in the same height. And remember, these are all coming out in 1080 by 1350, which is the optimal size for posting on Instagram, okay? I know I say it, but I know you guys are still out there posting on Instagram in a square 1080 by 1080, and that's not acceptable. Make sure you take up the whole space and you really captivate your followers with whatever photo or design or carousel that you're sharing okay so five one and we want it in the same quality okay all right so it's going to automatically cut up the image into our five equal parts we're going to download it all together or you can download it one by one however you prefer both of them work we're going to open it up right here and this is the best part okay this is exactly what it's going to look like. So as you can see, it's cut up. And when you're going to post it on Instagram, you're going to see that it literally swipes through perfectly and no part is cut off in order for you to automatically swipe. And it looks like one big image, okay? You saw how easy this was. You can do it for yourself too. All you have to do is go on Canva you can create your own template or if you want to save time, go ahead and click the link below and you can use my specific template, which is just the design in five equal parts so that you automatically know where each thing goes. OK, I hope you guys liked it. Remember that I love seeing how you guys are using my templates. So if you're creating a carousel with this, go ahead and tag me on Instagram at the Laura Gomez. Make sure to send this to a couple friends some good karma points for you and I promise you they're going to appreciate it. A lot of us are into doing new and exciting things on Instagram so if you can send it to them I promise you they're going to be very thankful with you all right. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!